Yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. It is a lovely day out today, and I mean absolutely gorgeous. The wind is not blowing ferociously, and we got, and we got old Frederick. Look at him. He's like, where are we going, Dad? Where are we going? Awesome day on the uh, last video I asked y'all, what do you guys want to see most? And y'all said, Bob, we are ready for a pond update. And I got to thinking about it, I'm like, dang, we haven't done a pond update in a while. So I'm sorry, I have been leaving you guys hanging with the pond updates. I planted ryegrass out back and I planted a roughly, I would say a total of about eight acres, nine acres total. It was a lot for the minimal amount of tools I have, right? And it was a lot because it's sand. We'll just take a gander right here real quick. Some of it's coming up, some of it, not a lot of it. Really, it seems like the only spots that are coming up are where I'm actually watering with my homemade sprinkler. 600 foot of hose, I think I already showed you guys that. Very quickly, over at duckswaterfowl.com through Sunday, this week only, we're doing 50% off the entire site. Everything on the site, site-wide, only through Sunday. So make sure you grab these deals while they're available. It is our biggest sale that we've ever done. But honestly, the ryegrass is not doing too bad. I'll take you back there in a minute, but first, right inside the shop, I gotta show y'all something. Before we go in the shop, the old golf cart I want to take it hog hunting town in Texas it's electric and I asked Amentine y'all met him I'm like you think it'd work at night he was like oh that would be a game changer Bob yeah about the hog hunting YouTube already demonetized the last one I was expecting that uh-huh uh-huh the old white unicorn what's missing the topper uh-huh I got it off every single spring after hunting season i'm trying to find some help to try to lift that sucker off if any of you have had or have a topper you know the struggle getting it on and getting it off through the winter and the summer because i have a fifth wheel so i had to put the hitch in we're getting ready to go camping and i wanted it to be ready so how'd i do it again i did it all by myself no help uh-huh uh-huh See that up there? Harbor Freight. Literally 109 bucks. Just a little chain winch. I think it's a one ton winch, 109 bucks, boom. It's up out of my way. Park the mower under it so people don't wanna walk under it a lot, but it's, it's so secure. Like, that's a one ton winch. This thing weighs, I don't know, 400 pounds maybe? But check that out. It's out of my way. Gotta love it. Next year I'll do a little better. I'm thinking about moving it like back there. Hey, you can't see that boat. Almost showed you the new boat. I know I've been holding out on you on the new boat. But I don't just wanna show it and be like, oh, here it is. I wanna go take it out and use it. And it's just been so darn windy that I haven't been able to get it out yet. We're gonna go fishing on it here very, very soon. Just be patient. Yeah, I just don't want to be like, oh, here's my new boat and not use it, not put it in the water. Ha ha ha. Isn't it pretty? I'm proud of it. I am very proud of my new boat. It is literally my duck hunting dream boat, fishing dream boat, um, as, as well as, I know, I'm showing you guys a lot of stuff before we get out back, but this is a lot of stuff that I haven't been able to show you yet, and I've been meaning to. As well as, guys, I wanted to put it out there. I am going to put an email down below. She's dusty. She needs cleaned up, believe me. But this is a beauty. 2020 Crest. Yes, absolute gorgeous. She's just dusty. She's been in here all winter long, but tell, I'll tell you what. Beautiful boat. One of the nicest tritunes that I've ever seen. And a lot of you that were here last year, I bought it and now I'm selling it. So if you're interested, in the old crest she is a beauty she is not cheap believe you me but i'll get rid of it for what i got in it and uh if you guys anyone out there interested i will drop an email down in the description uh specifically for the boat sale so get a hold of me on there please serious inquires only 
Whenever anybody comes on the boat, they automatically are like, man, the seats are nice, the white seats. But this floor, it's got a... It's a plastic slash something else, like sl plastic Teflon. I don't know. It's like a really hard, nice see-through floor. It's a gorgeous boat, but unfortunately, we just don't use it enough. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it, but... I'm just not a big lake guy. I'm a big fishing guy. I'm just not a big, just, we're not a big family lake family. And I figured if I'm not using it, someone else can. Well, well, there's some treats. Guess we'll go ahead and fire up the water. Come on, Fred. Let's go right here. Come on, buddy. Place. Good boy. Sit down. This is what he does. Hey, look, he takes up the whole seat. Scoot over, dude. Ready, dude? I know you are. Uh, really quickly, I was talking to Banjo. Y'all know Austin, Banjo. If you don't know who I'm talking about, you've been living under a rock, uh, and you must not watch Flair's videos, but Flair's buddy Banjo, my buddy Banjo, y'all have met him so many times, but I was like, Banjo, what's some good summertime ideas for videos? And he was like, Bob, you know what you need to do? And I'm like, what is it? Hit me with it. He's like, you need to get back into dog training videos. I'm like, why? And he goes, because your original dog training videos were when I first got Fred. And when Fred and myself didn't know anything. We've learned everything since then. Pretty much everything. If not everything, enough. And enough to spread it to you guys. So I think one thing, if another thing, I was like, man, you're right. Look, we got geese. Hold on. Hold on. We got hunkers in the pond, y'all. Look at them. Fred, don't even think about it. They've been chilling here. I don't want to bother them. We're going to chill right here for a minute. They're pretty used to me by now, I think. But I was like, man, you're right. There were so many of you this season, this last season in particular, that were like, Bob, Fred's amazing. I need some tips and you guys asked me a ton of questions especially through Instagram DM um, and I was like man that might be a good idea let me ask the audience what they want if that's something that y'all want to see let me know we can go through beginner all the way through up until you know where me and Fred are right now and I can share all my tips and try to help you guys get there so if, if that interests you maybe one video a week hey I'm down but you got to drop a comment down below and let me know you know what's funny about this situation is I planted the rye so waterfowl would like it. These geese have already found the water and the rye. See how you can see it on this edge right here? That's all rye coming up. See all that green out there? That's all rye coming up. And them geese have found it already. He, he's just eyeballing them geese. <laughs> Man, them honkers are just chilling. I don't want to kick them off the pond yet. I showed you some of the ryegrass. We'll head back here in just a few after they decide to leave naturally. I don't want to kick them off and be rude. They really like the pond. In the meantime, let's do a giveaway. Okay, very quickly I wanted to throw this in here because this has been brought to my attention by numerous persons, you guys. Uh, somebody has been acting like me and contacting some of you folks saying that you have won a giveaway and that you have to pay for shipping and some of these things are like you want a giveaway it's a bow it's a compound bow but you have to pay like 140 dollars in shipping believe me i've heard from all of you guys and i am so sorry but i have done nothing wrong someone's staging to be me and what it is they don't i don't believe that their profile says bobby guy films but it has a their profile picture is me Listen, if I was to ever, whenever I do give something away, I never, ever, 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 ever make somebody pay for anything. I pay for the shipping, I pay for everything, and you get whatever I have given away. Now, most of these giveaways I've done, the most expensive one has, has been decoys. And so I get in touch with the winner and that's it. So please do not give your uh, credit card information, billing information, anything like that. Do not give your personal information to people out here that are trying to be me because it's probably not me if I'm asking for your money. 
I'm sorry to y'all that this has happened to, uh, but uh, there's scammers out there, and unfortunately, bad people do bad things. I just want to put it out there, so back to the video. All right, first thing I found, check it out. I know, a one-off custom Bobby Guy Films Ducks hoodie. It's got a, what might be a little goose blood on it. Uh, you're talking an XL Thermal uh, Ducks Waterfowl hoodie. If y'all want me to ship, if one of y'all want to win this bad boy, I know. It's nothing special, but I figured since it's mine, one of y'all might like to have it. If y'all want to win it, you got to drop a comment down below. Uh, give me your Instagram handle or some way I can get a hold of you. Every video, pretty much, I've been trying to give away something. On the, on the last video, I gave away three hats. So, been pretty awesome. Thank you all for your support. Well, I just heard the honkers leave. So we're up here on the hill. The pond is down the hill. That is where I have the umpteen million <laughs> footage of garden hose going all the way out to water the rye. Obviously not fill the pond. I'm not gonna use my home well to fill my pond. We're up here where I have not been watering and check it out. It's starting to really sprout up. I am very, very, very surprised. Check it out. It's pretty much everywhere now. About that height. You know, just, eh. I'd say it's at establish mode, pretty much. I mean, the amount that's came up. It all hasn't came up. But we need water. That's the main problem. That's the main reason why I haven't even done an update on the pond is because we have not had moisture, y'all. Very, very extreme minimal in my part of Kansas. If you look at the drought map of Kansas, we're in about the worst. The second from the worst, put it that way. I, I do know that for darn sure. But like I said, my hose just keeps on going. Bad deal is I got a leak up here. I have no idea how. I've not dri driven over it. Nothing. It just goes to show a lot of junk out there that we buy. I mean, that's about our only option. Check it out, look. Right at the fitting. I've tried fixing it a million plus times. Literally brand new hose, but right there at that fitting, it is leaking. I have tightened it down with wrenches. Uh, the golf cart's leaving me. Bye, Freddy. Have fun. So yeah, that, that's a lost cause. I probably just need to replace the hose. But God forbid, I've already bought 600 foot of it. So here is the area that the hose reaches the best. I can move it around. It's versatile. But you can see how big of an area it waters. See it? It's only the sprinkler claims that it waters up to a 90 foot per circle, I'd beg to differ. And it's probably because I have an awful leak in the hose and 600 foot. So the pressure, it's minimal. It's not where it should be, but I've been doing my best uh, to water the edge of the pond here. So if we have a south wind like today, it won't blow sand in the pond. And then I've been doing my best to water and grow this bottom area. I really want this low bottom area to be nice and established and tall with rye everywhere. That's that's the best soil on this whole property back here. And uh, that's I, I know that's where it collects water from that hill coming down and especially this hill coming down. So you can tell it's actually growing good. All of the rye that's growing around the pond, I actually did not plant it. That was um, rye seed that blew in here, literally. We've had crazy winds. It blew in here and it's established around the whole thing. I did not spread it in here at all. It's just, that's why I need to get something grown is because the winds, y'all have been experienced to spring winds. Uh, right now it's out of the south at about 20, 15, 15 to 20, 18 mile an hour. And this is about the only time I can water. A lot of days, if it's out of the north, I have no wind block. So it ain't even worth wasting my water. The minute the water hits the ground, it's dry. So it's been a struggle getting established here, but we got some rain in the forecast today, tomorrow, throughout the weekend. 
say in isolated storms, I'm hoping we get some widespread rain because I need it. I need it, I need it, I need it. I spent a lot of money on that seed. And not only that, this thing just needs to get to growing. I'm sick of looking at a desert, a dune. It looks like the dunes out here. So I guess first off, I know I got a lot of guys out there. I found out in the last video, I got a lot of y'all out there that have done a lot of stuff like this before. First thing I found out, first mistake, rye, rye grass is not a limited water. I, I, I'm not a, I'm not an agronomist out here, but basically rye is a moisture seed. It needs a lot of moisture to establish and germinate. Yeah, the germination process did not go well for this rye because knowing that now I should have just I should have just spent the money on honestly fescue or Bermuda grass, you know, but I bought the perennial, is that what you call it? Where it comes back every single year. So at least we'll have rye. Maybe we can plant some grass as well. I know a lot of you are gonna say, Bob, you need to plant like buffalo grass or native grass or this or that. The bad thing is I don't wanna drag my harrow over this now or run a tractor over it now because I've put a lot of time and effort just getting this rye going. So maybe, do you think if I, let me know, please, 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 I'm honestly asking, down below in the comment section, should I just, you know, overseed it with numerous different grasses? Just seed it, spread it. Don't, don't drill it, don't harrow it in, don't rake it down so I kill the rye, but should I just spread it? Do you think with just spreading it and not raking it, if it would just blow away. Would it actually establish in this, you know, in the sand? Because this is what happens. This is really good dirt. Look, that is hard clay. This is blow sand. And you can tell where it drifts up and drifts up. So do you think if I just broadcast it, if it would, if it established? Cause I just don't want to, I, I don't want to waste my money. All right, dude. Scoot it over. Say something, Bubba. I don't know what to say. You have to say something. I don't know what to say, Daddy. Uh, are you ready to go fishing on the new boat? Yeah. I know you are. Today is the perfect day for it. It really is. I wish. We need a trolling motor. That's my deal. We need a trolling motor. And uh, I decided to start filming a little bit here because me and Bubba are out back and it's two days later from all the footage that you guys just watched and we still have got zero rain there's a huge storm system uh, the day before yesterday yesterday ish whenever that was that built over us like every time and then moved off to the east but we got the sprinkler out here doing work I'm not gonna stop watering, you know, it's like, today is uh, six mile an hour winds, literally no winds, beautiful. Um, we're just hanging out doing dude stuff and watering the old rye. Daddy, show them the pond. You wanna show them the pond? I showed them earlier. How's it look? Good. <laughs> it looks There's good. There's a lot of grasses growing around it. Yeah, that rye grass is really filling in around it. We're ready for this pond to be full, aren't we, buddy? Well, I'm ready to go catch animals in it. Yeah. There's goose poop all over back there, bub. Uh-huh. Look at the goose poop right on the edge of the water. We've had two honkers here all the time. You guys seen them, but... The old pond, it's big. It needs a lot of water. It's small right now but it needs a lot of water. We're gonna be doing the rain dance for the next week. <laughs> I think I feel like I have been, uh, but we are a very, very, very arid, very, we're very much so in a drought um, in my parts. And uh, the other day when that storm built, it literally built over us and then split and out east they got significant rainfall, I'm pretty sure. I'd say at least an inch, so in areas, but uh, we still got zero. I don't know how many days in a row this is without any legitimate rainfall. You okay, buddy? 
uh, but it's not good. It's not good. So wish us luck. Uh, thank you all for being here yet again. And I'm going to go back to the original ending of this video. Thank you all for being here. I'm not going to waste any more of your time just blabbing trying to make this video longer. Again, right now, what's the next video you all want me to do? Pigeon trapping's coming. I, I'm getting ready to start it. The reason why I haven't started pigeon trapping yet is because I want those pigeons to get out of birthing season, out of hatch. And what I mean by that, I don't want to be trapping the parents that need to be feeding the babies right now helping them grow up. So we're gonna wait until it gets just a little warmer when I know those baby pigeons are fending for themselves. And then we'll start hitting them pretty hard. But subscribe if you haven't. Remember guys, hit the notification bell right up there somewhere down there. Honestly, I haven't said that in, for so long. And uh, when y'all do, it really means a lot. You will get a little notification. When I upload on your phone, it'll pop up. You can either watch it or you don't have to. But thanks again, y'all. Until next time.